points out, starts out by pointing out that the electric force, the Coulomb's force, is a conservative force. There is one equation that goes along with the fact that you have a conservative force. It's not on your equation sheet, it's in your brain. And whenever you see that a force is a conservative force, you know we are going to use this equation. Emily, what is this equation? Something like du with respect to x. Yes. Negative. Okay, so we have a negative derivative of what? What's the u stand for, Emily? Potential. Energy. Okay, it's the potential energy. Negative derivative of potential energy with respect to with respect to position is equal to something. What is that something? Force. Force. This is equal to the force in the x direction. So specifically for the um, electric force, this <coughs> equation works out to be true. So we're just going to do the electric force <coughs> du with respect to, um, I'll just do r for a general uh, direction. OK, here we go. We'll rearrange. We get uh, du is equal to negative the electric force with respect <coughs> position, take the integral of both sides, we get the uh, change in electrical potential energy is equal to the negative of the integral of the force, the electric force, with respect to position. Now, it is actually the dot product, and we usually use, um, by convention here, ds, because we could be moving in a straight line, we have to moving in an arc, so we usually use by convention ds. So, just to be clear, this is the change in electrical potential energy from an initial point, which we'll call A, to a final point B. So this is the, um, oh, and we can also say we know the electric field is defined as the electric force per unit charge, therefore the electric force is equal to Q times the electric field. We can substitute in Q times E for the electric force. We get the change in electric potential energy equal to the negative of the integral from A to B of Q, E, with the dot product of dS. Q is just a charge, and it has no direction, it's a scalar, therefore we can bring it out from underneath the integral. The change in electrical potential energy is equal to the negative Q of the integral from A to B of the electric field with respect to some sort of linear position. So, this is the change in electric potential energy. Basic idea, if we take a charge and we move it from one location to another, we change the electric potential energy of that charge um, if it's in some sort of electric field. And that's how you can figure out the change in electric potential energy of the object. To draw a gravitational potential energy relationship, when I take our mass, oh, I forgot how to find it. When I take our mass and I move it, it changes gravitational potential energy, right? gone through all that. What we have here is instead of talking about gravitational potential energy, we're talking about, bless you, electrical potential energy. And unlike gravitational potential energy, where generally we're dealing with a constant gravitational field. I've got to have my positive charge, which can also be a negative charge just in case. Um, which I'm sure it would be polarized. Yes, it is. It's polarized. Good call. All right. <laughs> now, that is electric potential energy. Now we're going to define comes with something called electric potential difference. Electric potential difference, the symbol is delta V, electric potential difference, is equal to the change in electrical potential energy per unit charge, or divided by the charge. So that means that the change in, or the electric potential difference is equal to, well, if we divide by Q, we just get negative of the integral from A to B of the electric field dot product with respect to position. 
This is the, called the electric potential difference. And notice that we no longer have the test charge in here. So it's independent of the test charge. Just like electric field is the force that a charge would feel without that charge, it's just the electric field, so it's the force per unit to charge. This is the energy that exists at a specific location per unit charge. So it's called the electric potential difference. <laughs> and please notice, unlike electric field, it is a scalar. If you think about it, if you take electric potential energy, which is a scalar divided by a scalar, you continue to have a scalar. And we're going to use this fact that it's a scalar quite a bit. We'll point that out later in the class. Where is this equation on your equation sheet? You need to be able to identify it. Please find it for me. Jenkins. E equals the negative of the derivative of the electric potential for, um, with respect to position. So notice that this is the integral version, this is the derivative version, but they are, bless you, one and the same, just intro, um, inverse of one another. So we have the dimensions for volts. What is a volt? Actually, it's easiest to see up here. What are the dimensions for volts then? Travis? Um, joules per, per coulomb. Joules per coulomb is a volt. And as long as we are talking about dimensions, let's start with newtons per coulomb. Newtons per coulomb is the dimension for what? Message. Field. The electric field. So notice the electric field is in terms of newtons per coulomb. If we multiply that by meters over meters, which we can do because we can multiply anything by one, we get on the top newton meters. What is a newton meter, Mr. P? Class dimensions are your Class, what's the newton meter? Joule. Joule. On the top, we have joules. Joules divided by coulombs times meters. Or we have joules over coulombs, which is volts, or volts per meter. So notice that the electric field is in terms of new newtons per coulomb, which is the same thing as volts per meter. Those are one and the same. I do want to point out, so this is actually equal to vo uh, voltage at B minus the voltage at A, right? Because it's the change in the electric potential, which is the electric potential at B minus the electric potential at A, or number of volts. And uh, we will often set the potential at A equal to zero, kind of setting a zero line, set one of the positions to have an initial voltage of zero. Another thing to define is the concept of electron volt. One electron volt is defined as 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. The electron volt. Please tell me why the electron volt, the term electron volt, is actually a misnomer. It leads you to believe it is something which it is not. A misnomer. Nick. <laughs> does have nothing to do with volts. What's, what is it? It's energy. Notice the electron volt is a unit of energy. You would think it was a dimension of having to do with electric potential difference, but it is not. It is actually just a unit for energy. And this is generally used for very small energies, as you can imagine. The electron. 